How you doing, fam? Bam, this is Chris Mizo here. Intel's Raptor Lake refresh is almost here, which means the 14th generation of desktop processors from Intel has almost arrived. We are already in August, and the rumors are just flying by, and it's crazy, especially with everything that is going on with this rumor mill now and almost factual because sometimes these rumors purposely leak out because intel really wants to hype up the product and a lot of this more than likely is probably going to be true especially when it comes from these reliable sources and we do have screenshots to follow up with everything so it's going to get good the first thing i do got to mention is intel's 14900k that's right their flagship processor for raptor lake refresh will have 24 cores and up to 32 threads so what about the 14700k it's going to have up to 20 cores and up to 28 threads so it is a large leap from what it was from last year when it came to the 13700k because it originally only had up to 16 cores now the 14600k will feature up to 12 cores and up to 20 threads so it has quite the difference between them all and a lot of these processors will be over five gigahertz especially if they are in the ultra line because they are in the ultra line that will push a lot of these processors to go above way and beyond it will still feature a 10 nanometer die and they have some alleged benchmarks that have leaked out they do have some screenshots such as the 14600k where it was on a gigabyte motherboard and they also have screenshots of a 14900k and the 14700k in a asus motherboard now most notable is that if you notice in these screenshots that they are paired with the most odd type of memory and the reason why i gotta say odd is because it is the basic memory or maybe the bios just wasn't it wasn't optimized for the memory that was in there but as you can see it was set up for 4800 megahertz as you know intel's newest flagship processors can exceed up to 6400 mega transfers per second the good news is that this isn't going to be the most that this motherboard or this processor is really capable of you can expect a lot more now don't expect too much of a difference when it comes to pci express 5.0 and expect that it can be optimized for much bigger ssds or mvmes or much bigger lanes when it comes to PCI Express 5. You can expect that, especially in the 15th generation. So if you're holding out, then it's probably a good thing because Arrow Lake will definitely highlight those features, especially that they are going to go down to a seven nanometer die then. That's going to be a whole another motherboard set, which will be the Z890, which will be incompatible with the Intel LGA 1700 socket set. Apparently with these processors, they are paired with a RTX 4090. I believe they just ran some test benchmarks just to make sure that everything is working properly with the processor, just to get an idea of what it is capable of. But the ex more exciting news is that the Intel 14900K shows a 15 to 20% increase over the 14700K. So if you are looking for a much higher boost, then that's the way to go. Now, when it comes to, to the 14600KF, what is also noticeable is that how much of a jump and of a leap it takes because it goes over five gigahertz, which is pretty incredible. As you know, Intel's i7 Ultra Line Bull feature up to five gigahertz of a much more improved range so any type of processor that is considered in the ultra range will feature over five gigahertz and if that's the case that also boosts the score of the 14600k now get this now when it comes to the 14600k it's not only the single core that is performing well but it is also performing very well when it comes to the multi-core test so you're seeing the cpu go up to a score about 2794 points in a single core test and up to 17,190 points when it comes to multi-core testing this is off of geekbench 6.1 of course as many of you do prefer and as i prefer we like to see other tests such as a to 64 and we would love to see tests on something like cinebench because then we get better ideas when it comes to cpu numbers but this shows at least a five and a half percent 
improvement when it comes to single core processing and a much more improved multi-core function it goes up to 17.2 percent interestingly enough i'm going to go to meteor lake and everybody's excited about meteor lake because they are some features that are going to be coming out especially when it comes to their mobile lineup as you know meteor lake will more than likely not appear on desktops it's going to appear in the laptops golden pig upgrade claims is that intel has successfully overcome hardware limitations allowing them to launch a new mobile architecture which will allow all clocks surpassing 5 gigahertz which gives them faith again in the intel lineup now we're going to move into a lunar lake if you're not familiar with lunar lake it is going to be the 16th generation processor i know 14th generation has an even release and they're already talking about 16th generation processors well the reason why we got to talk about this is the features that it will have the most notable feature that it will have is the xe2 cores it will feature up to eight of them inside of the processor now it's not going to be integrated but instead disintegrated which they will separate the cpu and the gpu tiles as mentioned it will feature up to eight xe cores and they will also introduce the perform software Intel has confirmed themselves that they did say that lunar lake chips will be powered by the line cove and skymont with cove it's supposed to be a large feature when it comes to performance and mott is expected to be on the whole efficiency side lunar lake is more closely related to meteor lake and will be more focused on mobile units such as laptops because the numbers show that it is much more low powered than a desktop processor so we can expect the launch of lunar lake by the second half of 2024. it's hard to say if it's going to exactly be a 16th gen from what it sounds like it could even possibly be considered a 15th gen hopefully this has hyped up everybody out there who is big into intel and if you know anybody else who is big into Intel, make sure you share this video with them. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you're following my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan band, guys, will you get Intel's 14th generation Raptor Lake refresh? Are you hyped up for it? Or are you going to wait for the next generation of Intel to see exactly what they can offer when it comes down to Arrow Lake. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.